Villa Esperanza is a school for children who are struggling in the mainstream, for children who might have difficulties in areas of behavioral or educational needs. It provides an environment where we work collaboratively with therapists and the parents and the family to help children be more successful. Most of our kids um, are moderate to severely disabled. We deal with 27 different school districts. One in every 150 children are diagnosed with autism. And that's, that's pretty significant. We've seen a, a recent uh, increase within the last probably six to seven years. And that's actually not going away. Are you ready, Samantha? We can say, I can make a sound, I say, mmm. You do, mmm. I can make a sound, I say, your turn. Samantha has a diagnosis of Williams syndrome, which is a condition that gives her some characteristics that reflect autism. She has a very difficult time making speech sounds and using words to communicate. While taking a walk, Hillary Hart is pulling four puppies in her blue cart. Where's puppy? Ba puppy. Ba puppy. Good job. When I first met Samantha, I was really unsure of how smart she really was. And then once I discovered that she could read and that she had all, that receptively, she understood everything that was going on in her environment, she just didn't have a way to express it. I think that's the most exciting thing working with Samantha is now that I feel like so many doors have been opened to her. Samantha's been participating in a yoga program. It's called Yoga for the Special Child. We're working on building her strength and endurance so that she's able to sit up and hold her body up more appropriately for classroom tasks. She has thoughts in her mind and she has no way to speak them to another person. So part of our treatment in speech therapy has been to give her an avenue or a means to communicate. You want to go to recess? Let's spell out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's spell out. I'll help you, okay? You. Good job. You want out. Let's go outside. After giving Samantha a means to communicate, she seems proud of herself because she knows she has a voice and she's being heard and responded to in the way that she wants. Villa Esperanza is a unique institution and organization for both students and adults that have disabilities because of the exceptional team that we have put together here. The additional programs like art therapy and music therapy, specialized services like speech therapy and occupational therapy, having all of these services here on campus and having us work as a multidisciplinary team is a real benefit to our students. At Villa we depend on our donations and volunteers and all of our backers. Uh, they're essential to us being able to do what we do. Donations are a big part of Villa, and they always will be, and we appreciate people and foundations and the community recognizing us as, as a leader in the community, being around 50 years and hopefully another 50 years.